Hey guys, it's Kevin. This is second part of uh, our series, Making Your Own CS. Today we're gonna talk about tubes and, uh, and the connections. For all the desktop, you should have a tube that says 14. And this is, I have a four strand. So let's say I call it 14-4. So four means it had four strand. Now this is pretty standard. If you just use a dye ink, pigment ink, do some desktop pruning, and also, if you do a sublimation, you're probably going to use size 14. Uh, size 18 is a little bit larger, and it's mostly used for solvent, DTG, printers. Usually when you buy the tank, they will already come with a size 14, uh, size 14 tubes. Uh, we also sell size 14 and uh, with a 6 strand. So it's a 14-4. And then you have a 14-8, that means have a strand. And the difference between the two, uh, other than the how many strand is the 14-8 the is also uh, solvent tolerant. It's a little bit yellower than the, than the, than the 6. And however, it's only tolerant, it's not proof. So if you have a hard solvent, it's not going to work. So the difference, the difference is, uh, 14 size six, it can, it's gonna melt if you have a solvent. For the eight, it's not gonna melt, but it's gonna sweat. It's gonna sweat it. The ink will still coming out. If you have a DTG printer, you need to use the, you you need to use a larger tube. Uh, most people buy the uh, 14 eight is big because they, you can tear it to a two two four strand. So you can pretty much double your order. And then for the DTG folks, um, for the true tolerant, you need to use this larger 18 size. Okay, let me compare to a regular 14 size. You can see it's a lot, a lot larger. And uh, this one is, is much clearer. You can, and uh, it's more it's stiffer than the, it's more stiff than the 14. It's harder to bend. And then we have a single single strand, which is a, a little bit little bit larger, but it's not larger. It's just more expandable than the than the regular eighteen. This is a single strand. All the fourteen tubes they are designed to fit into those elbows. We have a three kind of elbow. This regular elbow. This is just like a regular elbow, just longer. And then there's a longer one with a steel head. The longer elbow is used when you want to deliver ink right on the bottom of the cartridge rather than on the top. Let's fit the elbow to a size 14 tube. So all the elbows has uh, one side that's supposed to go to the tube, is smaller. Then there's the other side goes to a washer. And uh, uh, this washer going to put in a three mil a hole drill by the three millimeter drill. You can see it's kind of hard to pull it on. So what you do is you just kind of squeeze a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> and then I usually get a plier with uh, this this screw. So when it's on halfway. I hold it this way. I squeeze a little bit. For the size 18 tube, although it's not designed for this, uh, uh, for the regular elbow, however, it's, it's, still, it's still going to fit. Okay. The beauty about uh, this guy, <clears throat> this guy is, you can fit it in this way. Or we can fit in this way. If you, uh, if your tube is a little bit short, you want to extend it, you have uh, those uh, extender. So basically you just put one tube here and then you extend it. 
they'll come in pairs so you get an extender on both sides to extend the tube and then we're going to talk about the drills and there are normally there are three kinds of drills one is a three millimeter a large drill one is two millimeter we call the medium drill and then there's a small drill uh, one millimeter small drill uh, there's no plug for it so I usually work with a three millimeter drill so after you drill it you can put a sleeve on, the, on it uh, the way to put a sleeve on is uh, you sort of like a go in an angle then you start twisting it try to twist it in okay now when it's in I already got a rag so I put my thumb like this just go with one direction clockwise or, or counterclockwise now it's in now we can put a, now we can put the tube with elbow on it in it and this is going to be airtight now let's talk about plugs. Plug, I've got a two millimeter plugs, three millimeter plugs, four millimeter plugs. This is four millimeter plugs. Those two, and then you have a two plugs in between. This L shaped plugs is in between the three millimeter and the four millimeter. It's basically, basically for three millimeter uh, hole, you can use O3, it works. This this three millimeter plug was designed for the HP forty five uh, those those it, this kind of HP cartridge. There used to be a metal ball, so you punch it inside, then you seal it, and uh, you can see it has a, a groove here, so you can catch, it can latch inside. This plug is designed for the refill, so you. It has a tab, so it's easier to remove. And this plug is a spare plug for the spongeless cartridges. Four mirror plug is the largest one. I don't think they can fit in here. Yeah, it's too big. It's, you can see it's too big for the three millimeter hole. And uh, another question is for the medium drill, two millimeter drill. Can I use the two millimeter plugs? Yes, it does, and it's airtight. Tube support. We need uh, to secure the tubes on the printer. Normally, we're going to use clips. Uh, this, is a simple, uh, this is a simple clip. So you have it like a double-sided tapes, and uh, you glue this on the glue this uh, this side on the printer. Then you close it. Close this. Another way is to have uh, this called arch tube. So this one goes in and have a, have a double-sided tape on both sides. So this sit on the top. And uh, you put a tube here and close it. And this is the T-tube. The T is uh, you glue this on the, on the side of the printer. And uh, then you fit a tube through here so here's the printer so when the cartridge the printer work uh, it's like this and this clip has a long arm you put a double-sided tape here you secure the secure, secure the tube then you put it on the one side of the on the side of the printer and uh, the cartridge work like this I also 3D printed some uh, small profile uh, tube clips. Uh, what I found is uh, this tube clip is not, uh, uh, sometimes it's not sticky enough. So here you can use a super glue and uh, put it on the printer. Then you sprinkle some uh, baking powder. It's going to be set instantly. So it'll, it'll put it exactly where you want the tube to be. Uh, for some cartridges, you just have to have a specialized clip to secure the tubes. So you have to uh, design by the model.
This is a shut off, which you turn off all the inks in the tubes. So this one can be take off. So you put it on. And uh, then you glue this double sided tape, you glue it on the printer. So when you want to shut off the ink flow, you just roll it here. And now the tube is shut off. So normally this is really handy when you uh, change cartridge or like uh, do some troubleshooting, you don't want the ink, ink keep dripping, so you shut it off. Okay, that's all the tools. Uh, I think I covered them all. And uh, the next video, I'm gonna talk about the chips and how to get around the, the, the cartridge chips. I hope this is not too boring. Cheers.